Monday mindset. It really, we, almost yesterday could have been the Monday mindset because we were. It's still eliminating processed foods and sugars. But in order to eliminate the processed foods and sugars, you have to be aware of what they are. So I think a lot of times, um, you know, we go through the grocery store and some of these things become so natural to us, so ubiquitous, um, that we, uh, we just glance over them. We don't realize that they might actually be processed. So um, we're going to be a little more detail-oriented this week. That's really our Monday mindset. We're going to actually read the labels in the grocery store and there's going to be some things that I want you to pay attention for. Uh, number one, avoid high fructose corn syrup, please. Just, it's so bad for you uh, physically, biologically, cognitively. Um, how will this affect your golf game? You, a, a diet full of high fructose corn syrup, you can guarantee would impede your ability to think clearly on the golf course. And it, uh, I would stand by that 100%. What, what, is it, is it the, it, does it make it so you can't think, period? No, it's not that extreme. But is it optimizing your cognitions? Um, absolutely not. That's one of the main things that you'll see when you start to, to remove some of these things from your diet. Your, your mind will clear up a lot. And that is a tremendous asset that you want to maximize. Um, we'll get more into all that a little bit later. Um, but so high fructose corn syrup, any type of processed corn syrup, words that you don't <laughs> are very long. A lot of times those words, sometimes they're okay. So, you know, like we talked about one of our supplements, riboflavin. The, you know, that's not a chemical. That's um, something that's uh, quite beneficial to your body, actually. So don't be scared of every word. You might need to do some homework. But um, some of these things, like, for example, uh, tapioca starch maltodextrin, okay, not the worst thing for you, but it is processed. So you have to consume it in moderate amounts. So we're, you need to start doing a little homework on some of these things. But um, something as simple as beef jerky. That most people, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people think of beef jerky as healthy. A good snack for the golf course even, where um, you're consuming some lean protein. Um, and for those reasons, you're right. However, in order for it to get in that state, it did have to go through some processing. So maybe if beef jerky is the worst thing you have to clean up in your diet, you're already in a pretty good place, okay? But what could you do? Um, you know, you might be able to, um, I don't know, prepare something before you go out or uh, snack on some nuts and seeds instead. Um, simple things like that and then you can avoid even that level of processing. Um, so, you know, some things are, are going to be pretty glaring, um, pretty obvious. Um, you know, even looking, looking into things like, um, so I mean sometimes they put high fructose corn syrup in your ketchup guys. So just don't, don't assume that the ketchup is really tomato paste and water. Um, so, because, you know, they're going to, they want to sweeten the ketchup and they don't want to put in the real sugar, so they're going to substitute it. And in that substitution, um, we're, we're hurting ourselves. And that's, uh, that's the main focus. Okay, guys? So, educate yourselves. Start to Google. I gave you guys a pretty good head start. Um, there's no need for me to expound upon every single thing that could be processed. Um, take ownership in your discovery process with this. And um, know that tremendous benefits for yourself uh, as far as your health are, are coming. And out of that will uh, be a world of potential. Okay? And that's what we're striving for. 
and I know we want to play better golf, and this potential, biologically, cognitively, is going to translate into our golf game. It's definitely going to translate into our learning process, and I'll explain more about that later, okay? And uh, see you guys.